Hey everybody, this is Grass from Grass Story Time, and I have a couple stories for you tonight. Today, it's actually 9:22 a.m. <laughs> Why am I saying tonight? <laughs> uh, since I'm on a roll of videos from work, here's another one. I figured since my one-year anniversary of A and P is coming up, I I tell this story. One of my very first problems at A and P. Within the same month, I was joined with this place. <laughs> so, um, I'm ringing up this order, right? And, you know, I don't know all the codes and stuff, so I'm just being slow because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. <laughs> I only half know what I'm doing. So I'm flipping the items through, and I'm like, all right, is that credit or debit? And she just says EBT. And I'm like, damn it. <laughs> I thought she was trying to spell debit. And the first couple tries, I'm like, okay, um, there's something wrong here. <laughs> and the guy, and I turned, and the guy randomly looked at that a guy behind her, and he goes, I think she's saying debit too. I think she's trying to spell it. I'm like, I think the same thing, honestly. I am, I don't know, I'm new. And... She gets angry because I didn't know what EBT was. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm new at this. I, well, was new at this. I didn't know what an EBT was at that point. So, a couple more tries, she becomes furious, goes over to the customer service desk, and complains about me. And I'm like, what I do? I'm new. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's what I'm saying to myself in my head. I turn to the guy, it's like, mm, and he's like, mm. and, sh <laughs> and then the person behind courtesy comes over, whispers in my ears, he says, she says you were yelling at her, and you embarrassed her, and blah, 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 and blah, 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 and I'm like, whoa, whoa, take a step back for a minute. First off, I was not yelling. Second of all, maybe I might have embarrassed her. But I don't know what an EBT is because nobody taught me how to use that function. So technically, that's the store's fault. You can't put it on me. So, the customer is still angry with me because I figured out EBT was food stamps. <laughs> if you just said food stamps, I would have probably known what to do somewhat. Because I was taught, as, taught it as food stamps. I never heard of it as EBT before. I never looked at the little credit card slip thing. I never even noticed the EBT button until that day. So, the guy who kind of helped contribute to my problems, he felt bad. He said, oh man, I'm sorry about that. It's like, it's okay, I'm new anyway. I'm bound to get people angry at me. Because <laughs> I'm clueless on what I'm doing. And this is how this guy became my friend. After that, after I did his order, he went up to the customer service desk, and he explained the story of what exactly happened. His story. And I got off the hook of being in trouble. He said, oh, this kid wasn't really trying to do anything, he was trying to help. I actually, I kind of tried to help too, but I kind of helped ruin it. So it really wasn't his fault. He was not yelling at all, and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And that's how that day forth, that guy became one of my friends. And he became a regular of AMP, where I work. Then, <laughs> pretty much, every time I see him, I was like, hey man, how you doing? <laughs> Speaking of um, customer problems, I had something quite similar, but not similar, happen a couple months later, or not a couple months, a couple months ago. Actually, it's probably like a month or two around now that I think about it. Um, I was ringing up this order because I was stuck after 9 o'clock. I hate being stuck after 9 o'clock. And, uh, again, I don't know the codes, but I do have a list of papers of what I can use for the codes, but I, it's like, I don't know what's for what because I didn't really label them great. So I'm like, I can't even mess around with these codes to see what works and what doesn't. So, I ring up this person with one item, and it happens to be a cake. A cake about this big, you know, nice birthday cake. And I ring up as, um, I think, 
$19.99, I don't remember. But she's like, that's the price? And I'm like, yes, miss, that's the price. There's really nothing I can do about it tonight. Um, I could void it off and you could go get another cake or you could have me void this off and you could come back again tomorrow. There's nobody behind courtesy to help me at this point in time because it's after 9 o'clock. And then she starts to become angry. She's like, I don't like the way you're talking to me. I want to speak to one of your managers and blah, 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 blah. And then I'm like, whoa, all I did was say what I can and can't do. So I'm freaking out at this point. I'm actually slightly enraged. I didn't know what to do with myself. I'm wandering around the store looking for a manager. I go back to the courtesy desk where happens to be one of the people who usually work behind there. And I told her, you know what, I fucking quit. <laughs> I'm done with this place. I, I, I couldn't even explain to her what happened because I was so angry. So she calls over one of the assistant managers. The assistant manager speaks to her. She tells her story and how rude I was and and blah 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 and da da da. And I'm like, that is such full of BS. And then the manager comes over, speaks to me, gets my story. And he's like, you should have talked about your personal life on register. I'm like, I wasn't even talking about my personal life to her. Not even to anybody on register tonight. What are you talking about? What are you, drunk? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking to myself. He's like, okay, but don't talk about your personal life. He's like, this isn't even the problem here. She's freaking out because I told her what I can and can't do. So what, what, I don't know what she told you, but whatever she told you probably is a big load of BS. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking to myself. I wish I said that to her, but I'd rather not get fired yet. Oh, in case you haven't noticed, I still work there. I was just angry and at night, and I kind of convinced myself not to hit because, you know, pff, jobs are impossible to find in this economy. And, well, um, after the explanation, he kept checking up on me to see if I was okay because I was still kind of angry. I was, like, rage ringing items through. It's like, is that credit or debit? See, maybe I sounded rude to her because I was really tired. I was like, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it, and, um, I was kind of like that. But, whatever. I don't, I don't know how someone could confuse rude with tired. She, maybe she thinks tired is rude because, you know, I yawned a couple times before I rang her up. I don't know. Uh, she just probably had a bad day, but I'm not going to even bum around on that story. This is Graphic Guys Storytime, and that's all I have to say on this story.